you wake up every single day to go and build somebody else's dream life. But when it comes to your own, you have all of these excuses, all of these reasons to why you can't go after the life you want. How dare you? Hi, sis. Welcome back to your weekly dose of glow up tips. Today feels like the perfect day to go after our dreams. Today feels like the perfect day to create our dream reality because the sun is shiny, the birds are chirping, and the grass is green. The air feels so fresh. Today feels like the day you wake up and you decide that you're going to build your dream life. Today feels like the day you decide, I'm tired of dreaming. I want to wake up and actually live that life. So in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to build your dream reality and become everything that you've been praying for. But before I can give you the sauce, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nana Scott. I am a self-improvement content creator. I am on this journey to become the best version of myself. So every tip, every trick that I've learned, the goal is to simply pass it down to the next woman, hoping that she'll take it and implement it into her life to become the best version of herself. If you find any of my content helpful, please go ahead and share it to another woman you think could benefit from these videos. If you've watched my videos, you know that I don't like long videos. I don't even have the voice for a long video. So we're going to jump right into the steps that you need to start implementing into your life now to build your dream reality and become everything that you've been praying for. You ready? When I found out that I could create my own life and I could be whatever, especially coming from Africa and coming to America and seeing the amount of opportunities that you have, this was like the candy store for me. I was just like, you mean to tell me I can just be whatever I want? I could just literally like, if I create, a, if I think of something that I want and then I create a game plan and I go after and I execute, you mean to tell me that could like literally be a thing? Like I could actually create the life that I want. I was just like, I hit the ground running since I was 16. And I was just like, God, you gotta come. Let's, let's go, let's go create the life that we want. Let's go be what we want. I was just, I was so happy. Hmm? I was so happy to know that my faith was in my hands, you know, God too, but like just knowing that I could literally be and do anything I want in this world and nothing was out of reach for me was like life changing. That changed my entire life, my mindset, everything. So just in case you forgot, cause I'm sure you know, or you probably, you know, you don't remember, but let me be the reminder to say that you can be anything you want in this world. Nothing is out of reach for you. Anything you want, Anything you want to be, anything you want to do, it is possible. You just got to believe that. So first thing first, say this with me. I can be anything I want in this world. I can do anything I want to do in this world. I can become anything and anyone I want to be. I can be because nothing is out of reach for me. Say it with me. Nothing is out of reach for me. The moment you start believing that, it gets a little easier because now you're just like, oh, okay. Now that I know that I can be anything and I can do anything if I put my mind to it, let's create my dream reality. So let's do it. Let's create your dream reality. First thing you need to do, write it down. What does your dream reality look like? How many people can say they know exactly what they want? They know exactly what they're asking God for. What does your dream reality look like? If God was to grant you your life right now, the life that you're asking for, what does that look like? If God says, tell me exactly what you want, do you know how to put it in words? Write it down. If you're watching right now, grab a pen, grab a paper, sit down and just think. Take a deep breath and just really think about the life that you want from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. What happens in between? What does your day look like? Don't tell me everything. It's none of my business. But down below in the comments, put down two words that describes your dream reality. For me, it's financial freedom. Even if you don't tell me, because I don't wanna know, not everybody needs to know your business. First of all, you don't need to be running around telling everybody your dream reality, friends, family, not everybody needs to know. But I need you to know, write it down. Sometimes we tend to forget what we're chasing. Creating your dream reality. The second thing, is you actually have to sit again, sit down. I know there's going to be a lot of sitting down and thinking here. What is one behavior that is stopping you from creating and becoming that person that you want to be? That's something that we don't think about, but let's, let's think about it now. 
because we're creating our dream life and when it comes to creating and building and becoming and shedding skin there's a lot of work that goes into it so what is one bad behavior that you have that you think is stopping you from becoming the person and living the life that you want i also want to know that down below so please if you could just like you know put it down i'll tell you mine when i first started my journey i wanted to be financially free right I was doing any and everything but learning about finance. I was doing any and everything but learning about how money works. Can you imagine that? I want to be financially free, but I don't want to learn about money. That didn't make sense, did it? Okay, so that was one of my, my problems that was stopping me from being the person that I wanted to be. But you know, we're, we're past that now. I had to like roll up my sleeves and get dirty and actually start learning. And I'm obviously still learning. Another habit of mine that I feel like is still stopping me from being my, the best version of me is that sometimes I get overly emotional and I let my emotions run me instead of using my mind, instead of using my head. That is something that I'm still working on, but I can, be, I can say now that I'm so much more mature than I was before. I, I've acknowledged what I've acknowledged a bad behavior of mine. I've acknowledged something that's stopping me from becoming the best version of myself, from becoming and living the life that I want, and I'm working on improving that. So what is one bad behavior of yours that you feel like is stopping you from becoming and creating the life that you want? Write that down. But even if you don't write that down, just think about it. And now that it's in your head, let's start working on it. What's another habit that you can replace with that bad behavior to to help with working towards your goals. So for me, being too emotional, I'm not going to silence my emotions, that is who I am. But now I've started taking a step back. When I'm feeling something, I go for a run or I leave the situation, I go for a walk. And you know, I allow myself to feel it, but I also wanna you know, involve my mind in it. What makes sense? Instead of acting a certain way, instead of just acting based on my emotions, I also wanna involve my mind. So those are things that's a step of mine. That's something that I'm working on to help me with you know breaking that bad habit you've got to discipline yourself no successful person is just out there winging it you got to have a plan you have to be consistent and you have to show up for yourself every single day even when you don't feel like it you got to show up that is the only way you're going to build the life that you want you see the construction workers, there are days they don't want to show up. There are days they don't want to do it. There are days they're tired. But that house, that building is not going to be built unless they show up every single day. Unless they go every single day and put in the work. That is the only way that masterpiece, that is the only way that building is going to be built. Consistency, discipline, discipline yourself. If you want to lose weight, eat healthier. Majority of your days has to be filled with hard work. That is how you're going to succeed. No more excuses. I can't do this. I can't be this because this happened and that happened. No. To build your dream life, to be the person that you want to be, create a plan. Discipline yourself and show up every single day. That is how you're going to live the life you want. Another thing, say no. You got to learn to start saying no. Say no to everything and anything that does not align with your goals. Whatever you're asking God for, the person that you want to be, the life that you want, you have to be willing to put in the work. You have to be willing to take the risk and you have to be willing to say, this is not what I want, so I'm not going to tolerate it. Friendships, cleaning out your circle. Cleaning out your circle. If people are in your life, that are not aligning with the life that you want, if there's people in your life that are pulling you back, the life that you see for yourself, the dream reality that you want to live, if you have certain people in your life right now that does not contribute to that life, that are you know maybe holding you back for that, from that life, you gotta be okay with letting them go. Because something you have to understand is not everyone can go where God is taking you. Something that I learned that have stuck with me to this day was that you have to start acting as if you're already living that life. This life that you want, this reality, this, 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 this person that you want to be, you have to start acting as if you're already this person. You have to start talking and moving. And this is where having a role model comes in. Find someone that is living the life that you want to live. Find someone that is already that person that you want to be. And study that person. Watch videos, ask questions, pick the brain of these people. Fortunately for you, the resources are out there. So you're not lacking anything. Whatever you want to learn, you can learn. And start carrying yourself. Start dressing. Start, you know, I have this lady that I look up to so much. And I want to be me. But I'm okay with learning from her to help me be the best version of myself. And I started cleaning out my wardrobe. 
I started dressing a certain way because I saw how she was dressing, classy and clean and simple. I started, you know, I found what worked for me and I started moving accordingly. I started speaking differently. I started educating myself. I started doing and moving differently because what I've learned is the person that I wanted to be, the, 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 the life that I wanted, these are the steps that I need to start taking to be that person, to live that life. So I've started doing exactly that. In my head, I'm already living that life. Start carrying yourself and start speaking and start acting, start dressing as if you're already the woman that you want to be. You know that every one of my videos, I've given you literally the one thing that you need to become anything and everything you want to be. And that is building a relationship with God. When it comes to creating anything in this world, you go to the creator. I strongly recommend God. To build your dream reality, you have to build a relationship with God if you don't already have a relationship with God. I would highly recommend that once you've written down and you know exactly what your dream reality looks like, you take it to God. You pray on it. You say, God, this is what I want for my life. If you could please bless this, if you could bless this dream, if you could turn this into a reality, if you can shake me and mold me into the person that I need to be to receive this life, whatever it is that you want in this world, I strongly recommend that you give it to God first if you really, really, really want it to succeed. So build a relationship with God on this journey to creating your dream reality. Sweet, short, and informative. That's the motto. You guys, that's it. That's it. Those are the things that you need to start implementing into your life to help with creating your dream life. The first thing I need you to take away from this video is that you have to know what your dream reality is. Write it down. Once you know that and you have it written down and it's in your head, then you need to give it to God. Ask God to bless this dream and turn it into a reality. Ask God to help shape you into the woman that you need to be to receive the blessings that you're asking for. Then you clean out your circle. You start moving with intentions. You discipline yourself and you're consistent. You find a role model and you start showing up as your best self every single day. You believe in yourself. You believe that anything you want in this world, nothing is out of reach for you. And you show up every single day, even on days that you're tired. You keep showing up because you've created a game plan and you're going to execute every single day. And now God is your foundation. So no matter what, you'll be okay. Keep showing up for yourself and be consistent. Keep believing in yourself and remember that nothing is out of reach for you. That is how you're going to create your dream reality. So with that being said, let's pray because you know we're not ending this video without a prayer. So Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for all you do and continue to do. Everyone that's watching this video, God, I ask that you go into their homes and make drastic changes for the better. I ask that you hear their silent cries, the things that they don't even put in words. And I ask that you make miracles happen for them in their lives. I ask that you help them go after their dream reality. I ask that you give them the, the courage, the confidence that they need, the knowledge and understanding that they need, Lord, to go after the life that they truly deserve. We thank you for another day and we ask that you continue to protect and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you all so much and I thank you so much for all the kind words. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my sister. Thank you for joining this community. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Just remember that nothing is out of reach for you.